lives matter, and that's true. But when it's the black lives that are getting killed, when that's when the, when the black people are getting killed, that's the problem. You know what I'm saying? Tell, and that's the reason why. I tell white people this all the time, bro. I, it's, it's, it's their fight. It's their fight. You can support, mm-hmm. as a white person, you can support them. But that's their fight. Let them do their thing. Like, did you hear, like, the people that were actually doing, like, the rioting and looting were, like, fucking white college kids. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Or that YouTuber, you know, but, like, you're right, they were white kids. Yeah. And then, like, I always tell people, I don't know what it's like to be black. I don't know what it's like to go through what they're going through. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I only know a little, a little because of my, my, you know, my boys that I grew up with and I've seen them with them. And then I have to look at it different, too. I have to because of my son. Right. You see what I'm saying? Like, I have to. I have to be like, even if, even if, you know, if, if people argue back and forth, it's not true, whatever, I have to look. I have to step out something about shit because of my son. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. And, like, on the real, like, I don't want to get that phone call. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to like a little... Nobody does. Nobody I don't know what you're call. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? And, and I mean, I didn't even watch the video of, that, of uh, George. I didn't watch it. I got tired of it. Like, I, I stopped watching those videos because I got tired man, of I, the I, videos. I kind of can't. I just can't. I can't fucking no, I understand. Watch them, I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, and, hey, people that do, I don't knock them either. It's just me. I, I, I don't want to see a person get it. Like, that was a straight execution. Right. That's dude, 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 fucking traumatized. Yeah, I mean the dude was calling out for his like the dude called out for his dead mom. Right. Like like come on man, like and and then it's funny because like the media will bring up, well he was like good man, he did this, he did that. That's still hey, even if he went to jail and he hey, he served his time, he came out, that still gives the cop no right to do that to that man. To anybody. There's just no there's no, and, yeah, they say, you know, they're able to, you know, all good cops, there's good cops. I mean, yeah, there is, but honestly, the ones that I ran into, I only named two good cops out of my run-ins, and I don't know how many, I mean, I probably have, like, about ten run-ins with the law. You know what I'm saying? Right. I only remember, like, two actually, like, okay, you know what, you, you straight, you know what I mean? And stuff like that, so, like, like, I don't know, man, like, they're a gang now. They brought up, it's the same thing. They're a gang. They're going to stick up for their, regardless of their role, they're going to stick up for their coworker or whatever, you know what I mean? Because that's what they're taught. That's their gang. Yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, I understand. Um, yeah. And then, you've been hearing it, like, the black people have been t- like, you know, again, I listen to hip-hop music. Man, ever since I can remember they talk about police brutality and having problems with the police back then, like in 89. Right. Fucking NWA. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It was like, and nothing has, and you just see from 89 to now, nothing has changed. Now because of everyone has cell phones and, you know, they got cameras on the phones, we see it a lot more, but, you know, that shit was going on back in the day as well. It's just we didn't have a date. Nobody had a chance to record it or nothing like that. You know what I mean? You know, it should have stopped you know, Rodney King. It should have stopped Rodney King. Yeah. There should have been, there should have been an immediate police reform. Immediately. Well, way before Rodney King. Like, you're talking, this was like, cops been beating on minorities for fucking decades. So, mm-hmm. you know, it's fucking, it's nothing new. It just gets, like you said, gets more publicized because of social media and phones and fucking... <laughs> And then sometimes I watch videos too, and like the thing is too is that what social media could do also though is like, you know, I can't think of one, but again, you have to do your research because a lot of times right. they'll just show the confrontation. Bro, and you're like, oh well, damn. Do you know there's technology That's, out there right now that can put take a picture of you, just a still picture, can take a still picture of you, um, put you in a background, and turn it into a video of you in motion. That's a real thing. Wow. Yeah. My mind was fucking blown too. It I mean, was, it, 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 it was. I mean, once you brought it up, 
Yeah, it was on it's TV. Not, you can see how it'd be impossible. Yo, wow, I, no, like I think AI has been doing some doing some shit they're not supposed. To, it's not supposed to be doing. That's what I think is happening. And uh, well, you know, this whole line with the government, who we have in charge and everything. Right. Yeah, I mean, I think it goes on. It goes right to that. Right. You know, and everything. But yeah, back to like the the black lives thing. Like, I'm all. I mean, like I said, man. Like my upbringing, there has to be a. They they have to do something with the police. Like, I saw something. You know what I mean? Like, almost like don't you can't treat the police like just like a normal job. Like, oh, I can just go down. Like anybody can go down to the sub application. Like, oh, okay, yeah. All right, we're putting you in training for what, like three months? All right, there you go. You can handle every situation. Like, a person that has only, like, how many months of training that he's trained to handle situations that the cops go into? I don't think it's like, I think they gotta get them more training. Right. Do more research on See? these people. Like, you put, you put in somebody, you know, in, in, a, in a big, I, I can't find the right word, but like, in a big role. Like, they have more authority. They have, you know, what can say. So you want to make sure you put good people in that situation to where they are level-headed, to where they're not going to be like, well, you know what? Oh, they're, they're the white dude. You know what? Yeah, let's go, let's go mess with him. You know what I mean? Like, you don't need yeah. stuff like that. Uh, there, you know? I mean, a podcast that I listened to said that um, they should be like buds training for Navy SEALs. It should be that hard. People should be people of character. And... And it proves itself through that training. That would, That's the kind of shit right. you should have to go through to be a cop. Because that'll weed out exactly. all the shit bags. You're absolutely right. And, just, and even like the ones that are made not a shit bag, but maybe the ones that just don't know. Like, they gotta break the code. Like, that code of like, oh, like, and again, it's the gang code. We don't snitch on each other. We, we ride with each other. So if a cop does something wrong, that cop is not gonna go out in public and say, you know, this dude is wrong. He's gonna stick up for his cop. You know what I'm saying? It, it's very gang related. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It, the same thing with like how the gangs work. It's the same thing, but we like how box it. These are the biggest gang, like one of the biggest gangs in America. And it's the same thing if you break it down. It's the same fucking thing. It's the, the same military, thing. The military does the same shit, bro. If I was out, yeah. if I was yeah. out on the weekend and I saw a bunch of Marines get into a fight with people, it is my kind of duty as a brother to jump in that motherfucker. Exactly. And that's and vice versa. Yeah. Same same shit happened has happened to me. I've gotten into a fight. Another Marine from out of nowhere jumped in. And uh, by the way, right. the gangs gangs have infiltrated the Marine Corps. So there is there is a gang. Yeah. That's, yeah. Bloods and Crips, bro. Well, you're gonna get it. Yeah, you're gonna get that. I mean, you're gonna get that everywhere. Yeah, I mean, you didn't hear about that. You you didn't find that like 20 years ago. Not 20 years ago. 30 30 years ago. 30 years ago. Well, gangs also, I think, you know, like, gangs also kind of glorify. You know what I mean? You know, like, you know what I mean? America glorifies that shit, too. I mean, we see on TV gangs, they they, they kind of glorify it. You know what I'm saying? That's when we were growing up. You know what I'm saying? Like, it wasn't. It wasn't glorified. But now it's like it's almost like, oh, you're a gang, man. You're in a gang, or oh, you're you're cool because you're in a gang kind of now. You know what I mean? Like it's lost. It's it's been like almost uh, commercial. You know what I'm saying? No, there's there's no shame with anybody today. That's what the problem is. That, that and I don't know. People are weird, man. Like I don't know. That's what I feel. I, don't I, don't think, know, I, man. I think people weren't taught shame. Or something. I mean, shame's a horrible thing, but sometimes you need that shit in your life so you can act properly. You know, like then I think people too. I think another problem in this world is that people don't listen. You know what I'm saying? Like True. we're quick to talk, but when you conversate conversation, you have to listen to the other person, and that's again who we need in charge. Because you know, Trump is his way on the highway. Right. You can't be like that. You need to listen to other people. That's how you learn. And that's, I mean, you need to also, when you go in a situation, you need to kind of almost like flip it around, like, let me put my, put my feet in his shoes. You, you know what I'm saying? But he's a control freak. You don't. Yeah. You know what I mean? He, that's another like aspect said, of being a tweaker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Hey, regardless of what you say, you know, let's go to a different subject. You're like, that's not what I asked you, man. You know what I mean? 
Yeah. Um, but people don't listen that quick. You I mean you see like the protests and you see them yelling at people and they're yelling back Trump was or yelling all they're doing is yelling. That's not gonna get nobody nowhere. Like people need to sit down and actually conversate. If someone says something and expresses something that gets you angry, you can't get your emotions into it. You gotta listen to them, even how ridiculous you think. Like this shit is ridiculous. Well, people you still gotta so listen to what he's saying. People are easily people are easily offended nowadays because they take things so fucking yeah. personally. For some exactly. reason, for some reason we we've, we've become what's called a hedonistic society. Um, where pleasure is maximized and pain is minimized as possible, whether it be physical or emotional. Like, nobody... Like, the, dude, they give out participation trophies. So kids don't feel bad. Right, no. You need to make it... I would say you have to make them feel bad, but they have to experience a loss. Exactly. They have to go through those emotions. That, and then that even makes the winners even that more special, too. You know what I'm saying? Like, so when you do achieve it, you're like, damn, I did it. I, I got so. Right. But it's, it's the human, like it's the human need. It's the human need for to strive for better. You know what I mean? Right. We yeah. always have no, to strive absolutely. for better. And, and a little competition doesn't hurt. People, people will tell you that it leads to war. It leads to a, a war mentality. No, it doesn't. It leads to a better character of person. Then mm-hmm. if you if if you and if they say it leads to war, that's what their mind. Then that's what they want to get the person that you want to kind of deal with. Because you know, like sometimes competition, like you said, it, it's, it could also motivate people to do you and you better. Absolutely. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. And like so, competition is like, hey, you know what? Yeah, I want. How long is this feeling? And again, it's kind of like a heavyweight fight, but I want to see you do good, man. I want to see you succeed. And seeing you doing good and seeing you succeed is going to make me want to push more for myself to succeed as well. That's fucking awesome. Yeah, you know I mean? Yeah. And that's what people, like, you shouldn't be like, oh, I want to be like, even people like, oh, I want to be the richest man. Yeah, that, that's your goal. That's cool. But don't hate on somebody that is not, or someone's trying to get there and they're getting there. You don't hate on that, man. Congratulate him. Yeah. If he's doing everything legit and everything, congratulate. Don't hate, like, oh, man. Well, he did, he that. Like, people, like, there's too much hate in this world, man. There's just, I mean, like, again, it's funny how you say you sound like a like a hippie. <laughs> but there is, there's just a lot of, like, honestly, just people need to fucking smoke. People yeah. just need to, like, stay up to smoke and just chill out, relax. Seriously. But there's just too much hate. There's just too much damn hate. Like you said, people getting offended, like, they think, you know, like, I'm a foot in a, uh, you know, Cindy Sam? They're not gonna. They're not gonna make fun of them having guns. <laughs> what the fuck? Like, are you for real? Like, you know, like, are you for real? Like, we grew up on them. Uh, fucked up. You don't. You don't see me going like, oh, pops are coming downstairs. I'm gonna go grab an anvil and drop it on his head. Hell no. We knew. Like, I, I don't know. That, like, dog, it bothers me because, like, if we were able to watch that and be perfectly fine, why can't these kids? Do you think you our, know what I'm do, do you think our generation failed as pre, as parents? Uh, we, can, we can say all we, we can I say, want to say yeah. We, uh, dude, <laughs> we can say all we want about those kids, and we can say all we want about millennials. But the truth of the matter is that millennial is either your little brother or your son or your daughter. You know, and we're yeah, at that age yeah. right now. We should have like five kids apiece, um, <laughs> especially in our economic market. But uh, <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean. Um, the fact of it is, uh, we're yeah. I mean, we're stuck where we're at. And let me let me move on with the let me move on with this uh, this interview here. What are you? We're just bullshitting on the phone now, which is fine. I don't care. It makes for a great podcast. What are What are your thoughts on COVID nineteen and, and its origins? Uh, that I mean, people always say it's not real. I mean, to me. It's real, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can't say it ain't real. Like, I actually know somebody who's going through it right now. And then I actually know somebody actually that passed away from it as well. So I changed my you mind. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I changed my mind with it. Um, I was, for the first, for the first, like, whole beginning of this, I was convinced it was bullshit. I was completely convinced mm-hmm. it was bullshit. Just because I know when people are lying to me. I just know. Right, yeah, you know, who's in charge, um, exactly. But I'm finding, you know, so I... I-